Hello everybody, welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake. Today we have a firewood delivery. We gotta deliver two large totes of firewood to a new customer. Um, today we're not gonna be using the international truck because it's not here. It's actually getting some welding done to it. Um, I discovered a pretty significant crack in a pretty crucial part of the whole uh, you know, hoist mechanism thing. It's, it's not the actual mechanism itself, but it's on the frame. Um, so the truck is up at welder buddy Chris's shop and he is going to be plating it and reinforce it and reinforcing and gusseting the whole nine yards to get that truck back on the road hopefully by this weekend. So we're going to go back old school today. We're going to use the old F-250 here with the uh, 14 foot sure track dump trailer and uh, we're going to load two totes in and take them to this new customer. So I, uh, for the first time in a while actually, going to be dumping the firewood totes into that trailer as opposed to the as opposed to the dumpster can. Here we go. Okay guys, we got the trailer all hooked up, cleaned out, and uh, ready to go. Now I'm looking over here at my supply, and you can see I got a birch tote from August of 2023, and then uh, over here I have a, oh yeah, it's, where is it? It's right here. This one's an ash tote from July of uh, this past summer, and that one is to the right of it, which means that that one was split before it, you know, probably around the same time. So two totes over here of uh, ash wood. We're gonna pull those out. Unfortunately, we are going to have to move some log lift bags here, uh, three of them to be exact. Um, so this is kind of what I was talking about in that past video about you know, just having to move stuff to get to older stuff and why I need to restructure the whole uh, thinking of the wood yard. But that's for another video um, because I actually did some talking with Chris and Doug from over at One Eye Customs. I drew out a little picture diagram thing of like how I envisioned the flow going and, you know, changing up new spots for storage, new spots for log um, storage, you know, tote storage, log storage, and uh, came up with some good ideas. So it's just something I got to think about and someday muster up the courage and uh, you know willingness to tear apart the entire wood yard just to put it all back together in a different way.
So guys, we're gonna drop the big 48-inch uh, long forks and hook up to the little shorties. The, I think they're like 32. Um, when loading into the back of the dump trailer as opposed to the dumpster can, the deck of the trailer sits at about 29 inches high. So that's about like 20 inches of uh, lift that I'm actually losing on the tractor. So having these shorter forks helps me uh, lift them up and out of the bottom of the IBC toads. We got a jam up. There we go. That's more like it. You know what's pretty amazing is uh, I haven't used these short forks in quite some time and it is the totes are so much less stable on these shorter forks because they don't stick all the way through the length of the IBC tote or the width. You can see like my normal 48 inch forks stick out on the end there. These don't stick out at all. Um, they're actually like back a couple inches. So uh, just the tote really wobbles around a lot more and um, you know the wood kind of shakes around more threatening to fall out but uh, just something I'm noting <laughs>
All right, guys, we got that loaded up with little to no issue. Um, it did take some remembering because, like, like I said, I haven't loaded firewood for a delivery in this trailer since at least early last year. And I think I at that, I maybe only delivered like one or two loads with the dump trailer. I really have been, uh, you know, attracted to the International just because it's a much shorter truck overall, you know, the truck and the trailer makes this, you know, set up a little bit long. Um, I don't have to hook up a trailer. I don't have to worry about backing up a trailer. It's all one self-contained unit and it's just a little bit faster than having to use the dump trailer. But because the International is out, we're using the dump trailer and you guys might notice that this wood looks a little bit wet and that's because it is, at least on the outside anyway. Um, we got about six days straight of rain and in two of those days, we got about six inches of rain. You guys might have seen on the news, New York City, all the uh, you know like catastrophic flooding and stuff of the New York City subway system. Well, we're only about like 50 miles away from New York City where we are here in southwestern Connecticut. So we got dumped on over the weekend. And some of this wood is kind of wet, um, at least on the outside. I did just split this piece. It matches up with this piece. And as you can see here with the top test moisture meter, on the inside, we're reading about 19, 18% moisture content on the inside. Um, just to show you guys, I'm gonna take another piece um, right here, and we will split this open. See what it reads. So this actually looks like it might be some maple. Um, Yep, and we're right at that 20, 21% mark. So we're looking good on that. Do one more piece of ash for good measure. Um, another ash piece. Here's another piece of ash. Do one right here. I know you guys like seeing this stuff. People comment about it all the time. Why don't you ever show moisture content? Well, here you go. So, split open, inside, Again, right at that 21, 22 mark, or 20. You know, so this piece may be a little bit more wet. Regardless, they're all like under that 22 mark, very close to um, 20%. Being that it is, you know, October 2nd, yesterday was my 30th birthday. Happy birthday, Jake. Um, this stuff is fine. I know I'm bringing this stuff to, or this stuff, this load in particular, to a person that's burning it in a uh, wood burning insert. I think so they're not going to be you know using it until a little bit later on um so you should be happy with this we're going to hop in the truck and get it delivered guys that was a uh, quick delivery we're already back on the road 
The uh, it was a new customer. Usually, new customers like to talk a little bit. These people uh, didn't seem to want to talk. I, I think they were busy. <laughs> um, she came out, handed me some Benjamins, and uh, the husband moved the car. I dumped, and that was it. So um, hopefully they're happy with the wood. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head on back to the dude ranch now and see what we get into. One thing I did want to mention: another um, you know drawback of the dump trailer versus a conventional dump truck is that when you're dumping, you know, the load comes out so much lower to the ground than when I dump out of the International. Like I said before, when I'm loading, uh, the dump trailer's higher than the International and the International's lower. When I'm dumping, the International is higher and the dump trailer is lower, which, uh, you know, advantage goes to the International in both regards because it's easier to load the firewood with the can lower to the ground and it's easier and uh, cleaner to dump the load out of the International when it's higher off the ground. When you dump out of a dump trailer, if you guys have one, I'm sure you know, um, but the load kind of tends to spread out because it's so low to the ground and close to the ground. Um, it doesn't really give it a chance to fall much and kind of pile and heap up like a uh, conventional dump truck really would. So because of that, Right there, you might have seen, I had to like throw some pieces off to the side because it would have blocked in one of their cars. Um, it was also, you know, I had a long shared driveway that I had to back up off of a main road. Um, so I just think the International is like the ultimate firewood delivery vehicle. It's better than your standard dump truck because the can drops all the way down to the ground. I could drive in the can if I wanted to. Um, but, you know, it has all the functionality and features of a conventional dump, dump truck, you know, including the dump hoist, the height, the GVW. But the advantage of being a hook lift is I can always take off that dumpster can. Oh, this guy just wants to pull out in front of me. The advantage is that I can always take the can off and swap on my flatbed if, you know, the dumpster can isn't gonna suit whatever I'm doing at the time. So uh, just things to think about if you're thinking about getting into the firewood industry or, uh, you know, any sort of material hauling. Uh, you know, a dump trailer is a good, cheap way to get your foot in the door, but there are some certain drawbacks, um, you know, related to dump trailers. There's also some advantages, but, uh, you know, in this case, I think the, the advantage goes to the International for its functionality and overall flexibility. All right, guys, we're back from the firewood delivery now. Um, I just loaded up the tote that I normally fill up the firewood stand with, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. We got cleaned out pretty good on firewood over the past few days, uh, even despite the rain. I refilled some of the bundles yesterday. Uh, looks like we sold one or two since then, but uh, we only have one $20, $20 loose stack left. So uh, we're gonna go fill that puppy up. One thing I am gonna do though is something that I think Chris might have talked about or I might have talked about is now that we're not cutting some of these totes, we're coming across totes that we're using to fill the firewood stand that aren't cut. And uh, because it's not cut, it really makes it hard to get the wood out. So I'm actually going to bring this tote up to the house and just cut this out. Because what I have found is that um, it really doesn't make all that big of a difference in filling the wood with the conveyor if the tote is cut or not. I mean, it is a little bit more work, but I just go and stack up some horizontal pieces across the uh, cutout and it fills up just fine. Or I can even put one of the IBC tote bladders and bungee it to the open face cutout and um, I really don't have to touch anything at all. So I have deemed the fact that it is not really necessary to struggle to get the wood out of the little holes by like reaching my arm in and pulling stuff out. It gets kind of a Annoying, especially once you get down to the bottom. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this one. I got plenty.
Well guys, I think that's gonna about wrap it up for this video here. We got the firewood stand loaded back up. I just went and got the orchard ladder. Um, I gotta load it in the back of the SureTrack dump trailer because tomorrow, after work, I have a job pruning a big magnolia tree. Um, I think me and Joe are gonna head over there. It hasn't been pruned in a while and it needs some work. Uh, we'll have to climb up into it, make some cuts, pruning cuts, thinning cuts, stuff like that. Um, a little bit of shaping, so the orchard ladder comes in a lot of handy for that. Um, but I hope you guys like this video. Just a quick little delivery. Things have been getting really busy and crazy around here um, with firewood delivery season picking up and just trying to make um, firewood to you know refill as it's going out. Um, it's a busy time of year, so um, there's probably going to be a bunch of firewood delivery videos in the coming future. But I hope uh, this one gave you a little insight as to you know my opinion on delivering techniques, whether it's with a dump trailer or with a dump truck. I prefer doing it out of a dump truck. Um, I know, you know, not everybody can just go out and, and justify having a dump truck just for firewood deliveries. Um, but if you are able to wrap it into, you know, doing some other type of work, um, it could, you know, help pay for itself, and it, it helps out in certain scenarios. Um, so, as always, guys, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. It would help out the channel. Um, go check out the link down in the, in the description for Dude Ranch DIY merchandise. We got sweatshirts now that we're heading into hoodie season, um, both the old design and the new, new design. So go check out what we got on there on bonfire.com. Um, any questions, comments, and feedback, throw it down in that comment section. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.